morning, you guys. Today what? is not a good day. It's not a bad day. It just started. It's 10.30 and I'm just now getting my coffee, which I really don't like the feeling of. We slept too late. Well, we slept too late, but geez. Yeah. That, that was, was a terrible night of sleep. Not a good night. There's some storm that is like rolling in from somewhere and we're getting like all of the wind from it. So the first time I remember getting woken up last night, it was 3.30. And so I looked at the weather because I was like, I somehow remember that like the storm's supposed to be over at like three. So maybe it's like almost over and then it'll be quiet. So I looked, so I looked and then it was saying it was gonna be windy all night long. And it wasn't just gonna be windy, it was gonna be like 20 mile an hour wind all night long. So that's where we're at. And funny thing is when I woke up this morning and checked the weather, it said it was like, I don't remember what degrees, but the point is it's like a bunch cooler right now than it was this morning when I checked it. Has Suki had a morning vitamin? She has. She's trying to get another one. <laughs> I should have let you give it to her. I didn't think about it. Did she put Philip like that? What? I said, did she put Philip like that? No, I think you did. No, I put him on top of the crate. Oh, well, then she did that. Suki? What's Philip doing, baby? He's hanging out. He's hanging by his beak? Mm -hmm. Where's Philip? Where's your Philip? Um, oh, yeah. What's he doing? Okay, good job. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this that came in the mail today and give my thoughts thus far. Can't see anything because it's too bright, but we're going to go talk about it. Okay, so first of all, for today, Today is gonna have to be kind of like a pick up the house kind of day again. I don't know how and when and why it's gotten as crazy as it is already again. I am exhausted. I can't believe that it is like the start of another week and, or that it's not the weekend. And yeah. So let's talk about Kinsey. I had seen a lot of reviews on this and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I maybe didn't do the research that I needed to do because there is apparently a lot of these that look exactly like these that are made maybe in the same place that are a lot cheaper. I got mine on sale for $179 and I got it because I am just tired of, I know, it smells funny, huh? I'm just tired of plucking my chin every day. I'm tired of having to manage that. I'm tired of waking up and being embarrassed about it. I'm tired of like thinking like today if I don't do something. Like, I'm going to be embarrassed if I run into somebody, right, with my chin like this, even though I just did it yesterday. So, this is the Kinsey. It's in this cute little box. Um, I haven't opened this box up yet. I just got all the packaging out. So, there's a little customer care card. This is the actual... Jeez. Oh, this is the actual device, and I think this may be like a charger or something for it. And then let's see, I thought I saw, there we go. So I'm going to um, really read the user guide and try to use this tonight. Um, this is what I'll say so far about it. For there to be as many reviews as there are, this kind of started to wig me out before I got this. On their Instagram, there weren't a lot of comments on pictures, which I know doesn't sound necessarily like a big deal, but I feel like if you have that many people raving about your product, you would have more people engaged. And also, on their website, it said free three-day shipping. Well, that was confusing to me for a few reasons. Um, now, every other place that I have ordered from recently, ColourPop, um, Amazon, Target, Tarte, for delivery online, every single one of them has given me a message saying it could be longer than what we normally say because of shipping delays. Kinsey did not say that on their website. I don't know if they think people will just assume that, but I I don't think that I would because maybe for some reason you're not having shipping delays, you know? Anyway, I ordered this, I think, almost a full two weeks ago, and finally, like mid last week, if you guys hear anything, Suki's turning on her antler. Mid last week, I was like, wait a minute, did that say three day shipping or did it not say three day shipping? And I thought it did. I checked, it did, and so I, I messaged him on Instagram, and I'm like, hi, 
can you like help me out? They were like, of course, please email their like customer care email. Great. So I did, and that was like weird to me too and unhelpful because I said, here's my order number, here's my name, this is when I ordered, and I'm just like wondering what's going on. Not because I didn't have the package in three days even. That wasn't even the thing. The thing was on my tracking, it was ping-ponging in China. It was going from this place back to this place, from this place back to this place, this place back to this place, over and over and over and over and over and over. And it was saying things like um, shipping exception and like a little red flag and like all of this kind of stuff. Released from blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what does this mean? And again, I spent a lot of money on it. So I'm like getting a little worried. So when I messaged them and I'm like, what's going on? Um, they said, we're going to check with our shipping team and get back to you. Okay, great. I'm pretty convinced they wouldn't have gotten back to me because it was like the entire day went by with nothing. And then when I emailed them again and said like, thank you, I'm looking forward to hearing from you, aka like I'm re reminding you to respond to me, they pretty immediately emailed me back after that email and said, um, like things are great and going good and it'll be there and um, also like their big help was sending me the tracking number, which I already had from the get-go. So I was like, okay, thank you. Um, so then I just asked them, does the, is, is the delay in shipping because of Thanksgiving? Because that's how long ago I ordered this. And she said, no, it is COVID related. I hope that like how I'm saying that is making sense because I'm obviously not annoyed at shipping delays because of like a pandemic. I'm aggravated that it didn't feel like anyone was going to tell me that, that, it, that that's like a standard like yeah their packages are just running late because like I said every other place that I've dealt with right now even if my package gets here on time I've been warned it's going to maybe take a little longer to process than usual. I'm gonna be um, using that I think I'm gonna do a full separate video just dedicated to that because um, I just want to be able to like spend as much time as I want to on it and like talk about it and today obviously I'm vlogging, so. But I did want to share that with you guys. Today, like I said, it's gonna be a cleaning day. Poor Sukabook has a, um, not a dentist, not a doctor, what is it, a vet. Suki has a vet appointment today at 4.45, I think. And um, I also need to go to the grocery store. So it's kind of a busy day today getting some things done, but I want to go ahead and go to the grocery store in like the next little bit. Um, it's 10.40 right now and we have a freeze warning and a snow, like, not warning, but like forecast for tonight. So we only need a few things from the grocery store and I definitely wanna go ahead and get them because I know since we were in Georgia, if somebody sees snow, we can't buy literally anything at the grocery store. Okay, talk to you soon. We're back from the grocery store. Dustin's gonna have some chicken tenders from the deli. I'm gonna try this from Progresso. Um, Chick-fil-A does a soup sort of similar to this, so I'm hoping that'll be good. I feel like my coffee sick tummy just hit. I don't feel good now. Sorry. Maybe the soup will help it. Yeah. So we're going to heat that up. Then we're taking this one to the vet later. Are you excited? No. No, I don't know about that. You'll get something yummy afterwards though, sugars.
This has been such a fail of a day. It's six o'clock, it looks like it's literally midnight. But I look like a crazy person because it's snowing. It's literally like the first day of December and it's snowing. And it's not even supposed to actually start snowing until six, I mean, sorry, eight. So I don't know if it's going to snow a lot more, but this is Suki's first time ever seeing snow and I'm really excited. So her vet appointment went good. Um, they gave her some little eardrops and some allergy medication and an ear wash and they were only letting one person in so Dustin went in with her and he said she did very good. So we're gonna have some dinner now, I think. Um, and then I'm gonna use McKinsey in just a little bit. Dustin's going to podcast around 9 or 9.30. You go at 9.15? What? You go at 9.15? 9.30. I go where? To podcast. Oh, 9.15. I thought you were talking about in the morning, and I was like, I, I don't. Forgotten what you're Sorry, about. no, to podcast. You said yeah. nine fifteen. Okay, so tell us all what you're making. I'm gonna make a stovetop mac and cheese. Okay. Based on a recipe that I found from a guy on YouTube. Okay. Anything that's gonna be super yummy. I hope so. So, what kind of cheeses are you using? So you use American cheese. Sliced. Slices and then you mix that with whatever your cheese is. I think I'm just gonna use sharp cheddar, but um, you do that because the American cheese has the um, stuff in it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, so it has like sodium phosphate and that sort of stuff, which helps everything melt down and be one silky smooth cheese. Um, as opposed to using like a starch based yeah. thing. So like we'll flour see. like we normally do. Right. I bought pita bread today and I'm so mad because the uh, my like biggest, I don't even know what words are. The thing that sounded the best to me with the pita bread was to do kind of like a Greek salad but in a sandwich. And I forgot hummus. So I'm a loser. This week for meals, um, we're gonna be doing burger wraps. We're gonna be doing, tonight is just sandwich and macaroni night. What else did I say? Chicken noodle casserole. Yes. You guys can't even see it. It's dark in this house. Um, and then we're gonna do breakfast. Um, anyways, my battery's flashing, so I'm going to let my camera charge up for a little bit and then I was going to do the Kinsey review as like its own separate video, but because I had vlogged for a total of like five minutes this entire day, I'm just gonna include it in this video. So. We're going to eat our dinner, cuddle up, maybe watch something, and then I'll come back to you guys when I'm using my Kinsey. Hey, you did a great job. You really did. She got a special pub cup um, at home, which was whipped cream and a treat inside of it, in case anybody's wondering. It's right about nine o'clock right now. Suki's getting some water. I don't know if you guys can tell or not from the inside. Let's see. If I brighten it up a lot, you might be able to. It's snowing so good. Hi. Hi. You can see it kind of in the light a little bit more. We just took Suki out. It's Suki's first snow. She's interested. A little confused. She doesn't know about it yet. And she's like, what is this? Odd. Look at it. Look at our table. Mm -hmm. Everybody. That's good snow. Look at it. Yep. Everybody who doesn't live in Georgia is going to be like, what? what? Look at it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because it's cute. Why? Because. It's exciting. It is exciting. It's only exciting because literally like two days ago, me and Dustin were saying that we saw on the weather um, that everybody was saying this would be a really hot or like warm winter. And literally it's the first day of December and it's snowing. I'm so glad that I saved this and that I have it to do because I plan on this vlog being so, like, not this vlog even, this day being so productive. And you guys know, you just have those days sometimes where it all just goes to heck in a handbasket. I really feel like sometimes I tell myself, like, in the mornings if I don't have a good night, I can sleep in a little bit and, like, it's fine and I'll do better if I have extra rest. But actually, 
I think I do better running on like less sleep but getting more done and then sleeping well the, the next night. I don't know if that makes sense but like today I stayed in the bed until almost 10 and I never ever 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 do that really and I kept saying like my to-do list isn't that big and you know whatever and I didn't get like anything done today so I don't know if you guys feel me on that but anyways here's the Kinsey. So I'm interested to try this. Like I said, I was going to make this two videos, but now we'll go ahead and delve into the whole thing. I have, since ordering this, found out that there are tons of other devices that look and do the same thing, look exactly like this, for a lot less. This was on sale for $179. I'm saying on sale like that because um, they always have a coupon code going to do $50 off. So... Even their Cyber Monday sale was $50 off, which is confusing to me because that is active like every single day, always. So I've been thinking about getting this for a long time and I really do not mind dropping that kind of money if this works. Um, even like with the shipping little debacle there and all of that, I don't mind as long as this works because I pluck my chin every single day and even then it's so hairy. So I... I, I, since I manage it every day, I'm like stuttering trying to get all this stuff out. Since I manage it every day, yesterday I took care of it. So it's not nearly as bad as if like I didn't do it yesterday and I didn't do it this morning. Um, like if I didn't do it for a few days, it would be a lot worse. This did say to shave before you used it, which I really did not want to do because it took me so long to let like all of my stubble grow out from shaving to be able to pluck it and wax it. So... I hope that this works. I'll be doing this once a week and I'm thinking maybe on Monday nights I can plan on doing this because typically that's when Dustin podcasts so I kind of have like at least an hour to myself in the evenings where I don't feel bad if I'm like okay bye I'm gonna go do this and not spend time with you you know or whatever. So this is my unboxing and this is the I am mildly afraid I'm gonna like blind myself doing this so I'm gonna try not to look right at the little laser thing while we're going. But I read the instruction packet earlier today thoroughly and I definitely think I have the skin type and hair type for it. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I didn't understand until I watched a video of um, a doctor actually explaining it was that the lasers don't work as well on darker skin tones because of the pigment. But then I'm like, that can't be, like, it can't be that way all the time, right? There has to be some lasers that darker skin tones can use, because if not, that's a big fat bummer. But, so this is what the device looks like. This is the back of it. This is the front of it. It says Kinsey down here at the bottom. The other ones that I'd seen looked exactly like this. They just didn't say Kinsey. It's a lot bigger in my hand than what I was thinking it would be for some reason. Um, not, like, uncomfortable or anything, but it's, like, a hefty mamma jamma. And then I think you plug it in down here. So this is the cord for it. I'll go ahead and let you guys know the main places that I'm hoping to be able to use this and have a really good success is my chin, my lip, and then my bikini area and under my arms. That's where I'm like, if I never had to shave that again, it'd be amazing. But I also read that basically when you're using laser, like laser hair removal or what this is, which is not a laser, it's something else I can't remember. Um, it's not that it stops the hair growth completely, it just slows it down and makes it softer. Which I'm like, if my chin felt like and looked like peach fuzz rather than like a beard, I would be so ecstatic. I definitely would take that. So I feel like that's a lot more favorable. I would want that a lot more. So you do this once a week, every week, and then it says some people see results in like three weeks, three uses. And some people have to do the whole 12 and then more. Um, I feel like mine's going to take a long time. And if you guys didn't know this, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this actually, but I did actually do like in-salon laser hair removal on my chin for a few sessions. But it was just too expensive for my very broke life at the time and I couldn't keep up with it. So, okay, it's in there. I'm expecting the pain level on this to be like, hopefully not a lot. And it says on here, this is where I'll tell if it's on and the, like, um, like level. So I'm just going to start on a level one. Here's the little light thing. And it said also that this won't light up and be ready until you have it flat against your skin. So I think that'll be good. Oh. <laughs> I'm scared a little bit. I'm scared to do it on camera. <laughs> 
So you have to press the button on the back, I'm so stupid, and then it lights up. It's very loud, it's very scary. My memory card was full right as I was about to do my first snap. I was like, I want this on film if I die. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't hurt. It's like a, it gets warm. I'm sweating. I don't know if I should be doing this on camera for you guys to see because does it, will it hurt your eyes? I can tell I got a few hairs that weren't completely shaved though because it smells a little burning in here. Peep me tomorrow waking up and being just completely dead. I'm like feeling as if I'm gonna have some change right now. Alright, I'm gonna do my upper lip. I'm hoping this one won't hurt. Feels about the same. So I will say the only thing that I don't know and it's just I guess because it's my first time using it. I'm like, I guess I'm done. Like, was that it? Did that get everything? Or no, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I wish I could tell you guys right now, like, and now I'm hairless, but you guys will just have to watch throughout. I guess the month of December is actually a great time to start this because by the end of it, it'll be four weeks, so you guys will have kind of a good idea at least in three weeks, hopefully. Yeah! I'm sufficiently terrified. I, off camera, did under my arms and a little bit of my bikini line. And we'll see. It didn't hurt that bad. There's just a couple places where it like was a little extra burny. Um, but not bad at all. And on my face, really, that was like on like the pain scale. I wouldn't even put it on the scale. So I'm excited to see how it does. I really wish that it was something that like I could wake up tomorrow and know for sure how it's going to be. But obviously, it's just not that way. Now that that's done, I know my hair. It's because I straightened it and it just keeps falling. And it's very annoying. And I'm sorry to be annoying messing with it definitely moisturize so sorry that this vlog today was probably a shorter one um it's just one of those days where it just was one of those days and I feel like tomorrow I already have my work super cut out for me because what you guys can't see like right here down my beauty room is a mess okay I have a project I'm gonna maybe do down here but it's a mess right now and I have some things coming in the mail that I'm super excited for to unbox with you guys. And I think that's going to help me kind of like revamp everything um, collection wise. Or at least a few things. So hopefully that video is going to be coming up in a couple days as well. Or a week or two. Or I don't even know. Whenever I film it. Whenever I feel like it. I hope that you guys are having a good day today though. And I hope that you still enjoyed watching this. I'm going to make or should I make? I'll say that. Because I know not everybody's interested in this. Should I make the Kinsey segment something that I do weekly? Whether that's just an update or like sitting down to do it with you guys. I honestly feel like I'm going to try for a few sessions not to get it above the first setting. I feel like for my chin I might have to have it higher. But I want to do a couple rounds just on the lightest. Because my thought process is now that I have the machine. It's not like I'm going somewhere and continually paying someone to do it. Um, if this is going to work, I don't mind doing it on the lightest set it, setting for a longer time and then having to move up rather than start on like a super high setting and mess myself up or, you know, whatever. So, um, I don't mind taking it a little bit slower, but I'm really excited. I, I, I feel like if you don't struggle with chin hair like this, it's like, I don't know, just kind of, it maybe sounds silly, but that's, it could make me emotional thinking about waking up and not having like a hairy stubbly chin and that just is such a big part of life for me and it literally always has been ever since puberty for me is like I I'm so anxious to spend the night at someone's house because I know I need to get up in the morning and like manage my chin hair I'm so nervous about like family vacations because I know I gotta get up in the morning and manage my chin hair and it's like that's such a terrible part of <laughs> everyday living so even if, like I said, this just ends up being like peach fuzzy, I mean, that would be a dream for me. I cannot even imagine that because I think I just went straight from being like a baby hair face baby to like 
a beard. I mean, I don't think there was a slow transition to it if I remember right. So anyways, I'm really excited. I hope that this was an interesting thing for you guys to see and I feel like I have pretty thick skin about it. So if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Um, it just is what it is and this is just something else to try. So hopefully it works. I'm not going to tell you guys I 100% recommend Kinsey or that I don't recommend Kinsey. I obviously don't know, like, um, what's the word? Not success. I obviously don't know results because this was today's first usage, but like I mentioned earlier, the shipping on everything was a little sketch to me. The fact that you can get this same machine for so much cheaper was a little sketch to me. And I don't like that they advertise some of their sales as like a big huge sale, but you can get it that price all the time. Um, it seems like they should be able to mark it down for a little bit more than that on like a Cyber Monday or Black Friday or whatever. So. I don't know. We'll see. It definitely is an investment, but honestly, I still feel like $179 is super affordable if what you're getting is waking up and feeling comfortable in your skin or not worrying about like how your bikini line looks in a bikini or not worrying about like shaving your armpits or whatever it is, your legs, whatever that you're interested in using it for. So those are all my thoughts. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for hopefully a lot more productive of a day. So rest well and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.